guys know what I normally ride, right? So we're gonna, because I came over to fix this. Actually, we made a good deal, didn't we? We, so. we made a pretty good deal. Uh, you gave me a sign, well, uh, Star Wars. Here, I'll just tell him about it. And you know this guy, don't you? You know the guy that wrote this thing, yeah? Yes. So a sign Star Wars, hasn't been graded yet, and then a Jonathan Frank Star Trek, because Riker was my hero. So, I came over to fix his scooter, and should we tell the story behind how you got run over, or just be like, nope, because there's no memes. No memes. Okay, there's no memes for how he got ran over by his own scooter. That being said, I came over here to fix a turn signal, which I clearly put back on there. And I asked him if I could just drive it down the road and give it a little review, because it is street legal. So, I we're just going to leave my regular bike there, and I want to I wanna try this out. He's got to show me how to start it and do all that crazy stuff, and I'm going to do one of those horrible phone reviews that everybody loves so much where you just drive down the road and you can't hear a fucking word of what they're saying but you'll love it anyways so deal with it what year is this 2022 yeah so it's the new this is the new one that says well, 107 miles to the gallon makes like seven brake horsepower but apparently it goes for like ever before it needs a tank refill so i think i think these are going to become the new thing uh, give it up to Honda because I have a feeling these are going to sell like hotcakes at $1,800. Pretty, pretty hard to, I don't know, man. Gas prices are getting a little crazy. Well, yeah, it depends on where you buy it, I guess. So, all right, well, let me, let me learn about this and then we'll, we'll see what happens here. I'm a bigger dude. This is, I'm 250 pounds. Uh, I'm sorry, 230 pounds. My apologies. I'm still used to saying that. This thing literally only has seven miles on it, so he's barely ridden it. Um, that is all storage. That's that Navi. That's all storage. That's crazy. This thing has the lowest idle ever and it actually sounds pretty good. I'm very surprised. Um, that's not the fastest thing in the world, but it definitely moves. So that activates front and rear brakes down there. And then I think this is just front maybe. Yeah, just front. Okay. And then that's just a parking brake, which is really screwing me up because you got to keep reaching for a clutch that isn't there. I want to shift, but he's never taken this out on the road road and it's legal. So I'm going to take this out and kind of ride it for a second. Then I'm going to give you my opinion. I'm used to a huge uh, wheelbase. So these little short wheelbases, man. This makes me really skittish on slow turns um, until you get going with some speed. And then it gets a bit more uh, better. It just it feels kind of wobbly just because the displacement of the wheels are so low to the ground and there's such small tires on here. This thing has just the strangest, uh, strangest turn factor. It feels like it wouldn't take much to get this to turn at all. Weaving easily. All right, so. We're on it here, this is the first time this thing's actually seen a real road. I'm checking traffic, we're just going for it one-handed. See where we end up here, that's full throttle. Wow, man, the turn radius on this feels crazy. Once again, full throttle.
just want to stop and give my opinion real fast. I hate the turn radius on this, but then again, I'm coming from a full-size bike. Now, as you can see, I put about two miles on it now since I got started. I drove it pretty far, and I wanted to see if it would actually tack 50. And it did. It took a while to get up there, and it took a straightaway to get there, but it definitely tacked 50. So I think she'll go. We're going to wait this traffic out a little bit, and then I'm going to start the return back here. That's a line of cars right there. Got good takeoff when you first get started and then it kind of falls on its face. All right, man, I, I'm, it is a scooter. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. <laughs> it's a scooter. It looks like a Grom, it's definitely a scooter. I like it though, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. It doesn't have the most pickup in the world, but it's a very stable machine. I hate the turn, I hate the turn. The, lo the small wheels really throw me off on this because the turn radius is like crazy. It's very twitchy. So, other than that, this thing rips, man. I, I'm pretty sure I hit over 50 a couple times, so it's quick. But my understanding is this has a huge storage compartment, but all this is basically scooter chassis. It almost looks like a GY6 engine, which I'm fairly certain that's pretty much what it is. It's a cologne of a, a GY6 ruckus engine. So, but I, look, man, it's fun. And I want to thank my buddy Ryan for giving me the opportunity to review this beast. It's quick, it's fun. I, I honestly could see myself, if, if this was a, a choice of gas and fuel economy, this thing feels very comfortable to ride a long distance on. And on top of that, it's long enough to have a second rider. You can double up on this bike, and I think it would probably still be fairly comfortable for the back rider as well. The seat wasn't too bad, though I only rode it for like seven, ten minutes. It felt pretty comfortable. I think you could easily do 45 minutes on this machine and be very comfortable with it. I'm not, I'm not ecstatic about the brake system. I would have loved to have seen some actual calipers and instead of drum brakes all the way around. Um, I think drums are kind of a cheap way to go and they're gonna wear out really fast. Um, Cause you can see a dual drum setup on here, but it does a good job stopping. I will say after you hit them, it takes a minute for the bike to recover, almost like they stick for a second, then they release and then it goes. So I don't know. Yeah, but other than that, a good ride man i think anybody thinking about getting a navi uh correct me if i'm wrong ryan standard driver's license right 50 cc uh, standard, yeah. yeah no no need for an endorsement on this thing like you would with the kawaka so but hey man it's a good bike I, I i honestly if i could afford one i'd probably buy one this would be fun to commute around on just get a whole band of buddies together and just ride around on our green navis and you know yeah could be fun well that's my impression Catch you guys on a flip. Toodles.